Hey guys, Ray from Love you RV. Today we're giving you a first look at uh, a cool new product from a company called Himsen. Now this is one of your uh, typical power boxes that I've reviewed in the past. I've reviewed uh, one from Lensun and a couple from Jackery. And since then I really haven't uh, reviewed many more. I've been offered quite a few, but they all seem to be sort of the same. The reason I decided to review this one is it had quite a few unique features. Uh, one of the most important was the battery pack can be pulled out of this one and you can have multiple battery packs. So it has a swappable battery pack, which is important because you can expand the capacity of the unit. Also, finally, I found one that could charge quite quickly. Uh, the downfall of the Jackery ones that I reviewed is they took six, seven, eight hours to recharge after they were depleted. Whereas this one from Hems Hemsen uh, can recharge in as little as two to three hours, which is quite exciting for people that, you know, are, are using CPAP machines and stuff like that. And, and it's really, you know, critical to have the box recharged for the next night. Anyway, in this video, I thought I'd just go through, give you a first look at it, go through kind of what you get in the box, and uh, also go through some of its features, and we'll do a quick demo. So, what you get, at least what they sent me here, is uh, the big charger pack, so you can plug it into a AC wall outlet. And when it's plugged into that, it'll recharge at about 200 watts, so it can fully recharge this box they say in around uh, three hours or so three to four hours but uh, also as far as recharging on like an ac outlet it can recharge through that power brick there but it also has a type c port here and it can power in or out but you can simultaneously power through the power brick there but you can also put in type C up to 100 watts so you can be power you can be charging this at 300 watts which is gives you a recharge time of between two to three hours now you say how big is the battery that we're recharging it's actually a 740 watt hour battery which equates to I think around a 61 amp hour something like that so it's a fairly hefty battery um, it also has built into it a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter which can run quite a few things. It can't run really high wattage things like a microwave or something like that but it can run any TV or CPAP machine or computer or a lot of smaller wattage appliances and fans. Uh, you also have your normal USB outputs here. There's three of them there. And then down here we have a uh, cigarette layer and it's a 10 amp output on that. And then there's also two 5 amp outputs on DC. And then this is something I haven't seen before. This is a uh, XT60 output. So if you're into model planes or, or RC cars or some drones, this is, this is a, used for charging them through this port. And that is actually a 30 amp output DC. And then there's your input there for charging things. Let's see what kind of cables you get with it. <clears throat> so you get your standard uh, cigarette lighter charger so you can charge through the vehicle. I think that's around six or seven hours to charge the battery using the in the car. <clears throat> also, we have a set of jumper cables. Now what this does is say you've you've run your car battery down, you can plug this into there. Now you can't jump start it off of this, but that will slowly charge your battery back to the point that you can start your car. So you're taking the energy out of this battery and putting it into your car battery. Uh, they also have a DC output down here. It plugs in the 5 amp output. And really cool is they give you all these adapters for for that plug so you take this off plug it in you have all the different uh, barrel adapters which is kind of nice you don't have to go searching around the internet looking for something say you have a CPAP machine that takes a certain type of plug this thing you should be able to find in all these adapters the one that you need to use 
You can also recharge it using solar power. Now they've sent me out, I think they're 120 watt panel. They also have a 240 watt panel. Um, the input on it can take up to 300 watts of solar for charging. So I'll be testing this out if we ever get sun here. And it comes a little pocket here in the pocket. There's a, there's a thing with a couple of USB and a DC output so you can run stuff right off the actual solar panel. And on the other side it has an, a power pole connector there and then comes with the power pole uh, connector on one end and then the uh, connector to feed into the DC input here. So multiple ways to charge it. Solar panel, type C, USB, AC through the power plug and DC through your car, cigarette lighter socket. So maybe let me pull the battery out and we'll give you a closer look because that's kind of the, the killer feature of this little box. The box is really small, you know, about the size of a toaster, weighs in about 15 pounds. Here's where it comes, the battery comes out the back, a little strap on it, pull the battery out, a little uh, thumb screw to undo there. Also the case is aluminum, which is really nice. I find this thing is really nicely designed, the fit and finish is really good. The guy was telling me he worked for Apple for a number of years as a, one of their managers and I forget which department was, put it up on the screen here so he has a lot of uh, a lot of experience with lithium batteries and that sort of thing there we be so like i say just undo this and pulls right out give you a look at the specs here on the battery it's like 200,000 milliamp hours seven 40 watt hours, 3.7 volts, input voltage 12 to 24, 240 watt max, and input, so you can charge this actual battery with an AC adapter, car charger, or solar panel. Here's a look at the front of the battery, looks like there's a power button there, and we have our output connectors and the input connector and then let's just try plugging it in so you can plug the battery straight in and then up here you can see it has a readout percentage readout of the battery give you a look inside a bit where it plugs in at the other end there well, that's pretty cool you can have a spare battery carry the spares along with you so you can really increase the capacity of this box. So I think I'll do a couple quick tests for you in this video. First we'll do a load test. We'll use this little heater on low and uh, see how long it can uh, power the box for. At, uh, a pretty high wattage. I'll just set a timer on my phone, put that on low. And what do we got here? It shows the output 560 watts there. So that's pretty well near maxing out the inverter that's in here. They have a 600 watt pure sign inverter. And we'll just let it run. You can see it actually tells you hours of remaining power, one hour. Just out of interest, I want to see if this thing has like a pass-through power. Let's see if we can actually be putting something in at the same time. Let's plug it in. Oh yeah. I'll show the input wattage there, 197, but I don't want to do that right now because I'm doing a load test. So we'll let that go and see if it can actually uh, run this almost at a max load for an hour. Okay, it's been running about 15 minutes flat out so far, no problem. You can hear the fan on the back has come on, right there. Moving a fair amount of air, but it's not too loud. 
not annoyingly loud or anything. So far handling it good. We'll keep her going. So we've hit 43 minutes, still going. On the display here it's showing the battery at 34%. Up here it's going 0.5 hours remaining. I have noticed the wattage output has dropped from about 580 to 480. So I assume probably the voltage has dropped too. Heater's still running though. It's in 600 watt mode so obviously this box kind of uh, lowers its uh, wattage as the battery starts to get more depleted. But we'll continue on and see how long she'll last. It just beeped at 10% and gave me a warning. You can see it's dropped down to 392 watts output now. Still running the heater and we're at just over an hour. And I'll keep running it till it goes into shutdown. Okay down to 7% now it's starting to quit kind of coming on and off I'll have to call that quits so one hour and four almost say call it one hour and five minutes it ran with that heavy load I'm sure if I went to a lower load it would probably start running again for a while it just can't handle that uh, heavy load Yeah, there I just put it on fan mode and it's running. So it could probably run a lighter load the rest of its uh, capacity. Anyway, it seemed to pass that test all right. It was able to handle a heavy load for an hour. Let's just check on the heating here. So nothing feels overly. It's warm towards the back. Nothing on the top. This is where the fan comes out. Yeah, it's quite, quite cool. So it does a really good job of cooling itself. I'm just going to pull that battery out and see how warm it is. And the battery feels warm, but not hot. Now that I've run it down, we'll plug in the AC adapter and we'll see how long it takes to come back to a full charge. I can see on the display it's estimating around three hours and it's currently putting in 198 watts. Okay, back to 100%. What was the verdict? Came in at three hours and seven minutes. Not too bad at all, not too bad at all. Well, there you go. That's a quick look at Hemson's upcoming H740 Pro portable power station. I'm going to continue doing my tests on it. I've had this box for a few weeks now and I've been using it. I got quite a few uh, in-depth tests I've done. I got some more planned. Kind of waiting for the sun to show up. You need a really sunny day so I can do the solar power tests. Anyway, I'll give you a link to their website here. They have one long page with quite a bit of information on the the, the capabilities of the box, all the features and specs. And then I'll be back in a little while with my full review. Also wanted to put this out here, so if anybody has any questions about the box or any uh, things they would like me to test, leave it in the comments and that would give me a chance to do that and then come back in a future video and let you know. Till next time, Ray from loveyrv.com. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers, folks.